Hey, welcome back. So this is my second paint tutorial for Halo Flashpoint. Last time I did the Zvezda. Uh, this time I'm working on the Brawler. You can see we've already got the model gray. I airbrushed this one as opposed to brush painted. If you want to see one completely done from scratch, go back and watch the Zvezda video. With this one, we're jumping right in. I'm taking my neutral gray and my light gray and I'm mixing up a highlight color. This highlight's going to be applied to all of the gray armor bits, which is in this particular paint scheme, um, most of the model. So, thin paint, nice point on your brush. Take your time, just work those edges and pull out all the highest points where light would be coming down on this armor. It's just a nice way to define all of your edges and really bring out the details. Once you're done with that step, in this I'm going over to my uh, burnt red. I use this to cover my shoulder pads and my knee pads on the Spartan and to denote the red team. Next up in my queue is going to be the Mark 7 for the blue squad. They'll have a base coat of like an army green, more traditional Master Chief look. And then I will do their panels in blue to denote the blue team an eye out for those videos when uh, I get them started. Since we're still in the base coating stage here, um, I mean it's nice to stay in your lines and be careful to save yourself any unnecessary repaint. But if you go over, and I will a few times on this paint job, you just go back and clean it up with the paint you have on your palette. I'm switching over to my black and I'm going to start working on the rifle, the shotgun in this case for the brawler, and the bodysuit of the Mjolnir armor. Typically I don't do a lot of black directly onto the model. It's a color that you know you can't really you can't really shade it. It's as dark as it gets. So usually when you want to paint something to read as black, you'll work in a really dark gray. Um, so you can still apply shades, washes, or additional shadows to it. But um, for the sake of, of a tabletop quality model and getting these guys ready to go for my demo event in a week, I wanted to make sure that uh, I could just knock them out quick and decided to just go with the black weapons and bodysuit and a little highlight up. Got a nice two-handed grip on that rifle. It makes it fun to try to get him between him without painting the chest. His uh, chest panel sticks out a little bulkier. And here we're just finishing up getting those details on the body, or getting the not the details, but getting the bodysuit itself painted up. that done we're gonna bounce over to the gold this is a uh, pro curl rich gold we're going to use this to uh, base in his visor this time I painted the visor correctly the first time I consulted the card art just to make sure that uh, his visor didn't go halfway up his head like the Zvezda did really like the look of the uh, the metallics and the visors just to really make them pop out and differentiate them from the bodies of the uh, Spartans. So that done, we're going to return to our gray. You can see I'm adding a little bit of my light neutral gray into my initial highlight color and I'm going to come in here and start just picking out the hardest edges of where I want the light source to be coming from. The 
this will be a bit brighter than the highlight we applied before. So if you can apply it in a, such a way that you don't cover up the entirety of your previous highlight, you'll get a nice layer effect there. And that'll uh, really help offset some of the edges on the armor. Remember, good tip on your brush and thin paint when you're working these edge highlights like this. that done I'm going to take my burnt red and I'm going to mix in a little bit of orange here just to uh, give myself a little more of a vibrant red orange as our initial highlight for all the red panels this is going to go heavily on the shoulder pads and then across the top of the knees the knees will not get a second highlight this is because they're lower down the body we want to make sure that we push the brightest highlights to the top of the model so we can simulate where the lights are striking plus it'll kind of draw the eye up the model that done I'm going to take my light gold here and just get a dab in on the visor to brighten it up Just want to do that in the upper portion of the visor just to show a little bit of a reflection. Notice some uh, areas where my brush got away from me and just doing a little cleanup there. Notice at this point, I realized there were some extra details on this model. He has um, shells slotted into kind of a bandolier on his chest and I didn't have a color on hand ready to go so I took some of my drab brown and I mix in a little bit of our rich gold here to give myself kind of a dingy dirty metallic almost a bronzy color which I'm going to use to hit those details on his chest. Well, there I did it. I painted the stock of the shotgun with my shell casing color. And here's a prime example. Sometimes the brush just gets away from you. You get a little awkward angle there and you can't see what you're doing or can't quite get it where you want it to go. Not the end of the world. Grab a dab of black. Cover it right back up. So now I've added some of the Army Painter War Paint Fanatic Dark Tone and a heavy dollop of water here and I'm going to apply this to all of the armor panels and the bodysuit. Now I want to avoid the red this time around. I don't want to, uh, to bring the red down too much and dinge it up so we're just going to stick with hitting the gray and black spots on the model with this pass. Make sure that you watch out for any pooling wash that you might get. Um, you don't want to. You want to try to avoid getting any like title marks or or weird pools of wash building up on your model. We really just want this to creep into the recesses and uh, pop out those details for us. down here to dry for a few and we'll come back to them. Start in on some higher highlights. All right after some considerable time I was able to make it back to the desk and I'm going into silver and a dab of black and basically mixing up just a dark silver I want to base out the knife on his hip here. 
Now since we've applied our first layer of wash, we want to try to make sure that we're extra careful because it gets a little more complex repainting if we, uh, if we make a mistake at this point. I mean, we obviously still can. It just might add another step or so to get it to match properly. Of course, if it's just a drop somewhere, honestly, you can probably cover it right up and you'll never notice. As I was getting that knife painted, I did notice a couple of other nice little embellishments and details up on the shoulder pads of the armor that I decided to paint in the silver as well, just to kind of differentiate him a little more from the Zvezda. The nice thing about the Spartan sculpts is they are all pretty unique, but they are all still just guides and armor at the end of the day, so anything we can do to differentiate them is, is nice. Went back to my neutral gray at this point, and I was just going through and applying highlights to the bodysuit just to kind of help bring out some of the some of the design elements in it. That done, I've gone back to my previous highlight mix and I'm just trying to hit the hardest edges with just a light boosting highlight here. You don't want to go too crazy on it. But if you have an idea of the direction of your light, like it's not straight from above, more of off to the side, you can really help sell that by, by boosting your highlights, especially across the top half of the model. Going back to my neutral gray here, and I'm just hitting an edge highlight on the shotgun. All right. We're getting close to the end here. I'm gonna take my dry brush, get a little bit of that drab brown on there, and we're gonna to go to work on the base. Now you don't wanna just paint the base brown, you just wanna kind of highlight and tint everything brown. And it's not a horrible idea if you'd like to work up the legs a little bit. I usually try to stop below the knee. But you can bring a little bit of that color up on the model and make them look like they're in the environment. Going back to the sponge at this point, which I've dipped in silver and then wiped off a lot of the paint, I'm going to use this, held in a pair of tweezers, to apply some chipping effects to the armor. Um, this is a personal preference. I like my armor to look a little more beat up and rugged. I like the idea that he looks like he's been out in the field and had rounds ricocheted off him or scraped his armor against something and just has generally been a brawler. All that applied, I'm taking another really thin layer of wash and I'm just kind of going down over everything at this point just to kind of bring everything together. It'll tone down that silver just a smidge so it's not screaming, but leave that chipping effect in place so that the armor still does look tore up. This is a lighter wash than the one we did previously. We're not worried about getting in the crevices as much this time. We're just worried about um, basically glazing it over to kind of pull everything down together. Now, I forgot to record um, putting the tufts on it, so <laughs> prior to that, I did take some uh, Army Painter Strong Tone, which is a brown wash, and this is pretty thick from the pot. I didn't thin this a lot. I'm just putting it on the ground. Um, I went back and did this to my Zvezda as well. It just 
it'll seep in through that texture paste and um, make it look a little more a little more interesting rather than just kind of this flat gray surface and as always we're gonna put our black rim on and as I said I'll put tufts on here but um, I, I forgot to hit record when I did it so you'll see them in the fall the the final photos there he is that's our Spartan brawler for Halo Flashpoint Here's some shots of him. Tufts in place. Thanks if you've made it all the way to the end for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And please like it and share it to anyone that you think might find it useful or entertaining. <laughs>